all right, great. So now you actually have your script installed on your website. So you've created your first magic zap. You've got that magic zap script installed on your website. And now you want to create a dynamic landing page because you want to actually get more people to convert and opt into your stuff. You want to get more sales. All right, great. So let's do that. It's going to be super simple. Uh, now in order to do this, I'm not going to lie. You need to have elementary knowledge of, um, of HTML. So you need to have some elementary knowledge of some HTML programming. If you don't have elementary knowledge of HTML programming, and you're thinking that, well, that's going to be too hard for you. I just want to submit proof. This is my monkey. It's a real life monkey. His name is George. And he actually understands the basic principles of HTML programming. And sometimes when he gets bored, he actually writes some HTML code. All right. And he is a monkey, a real live primate. All right. So if you're thinking that you're not going to be able to understand it, I just want you to think about George and understand that he is a monkey and he's able to do it. All right. So now. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna come over here to our little opt-in page. We're gonna edit this page right up, all right? <laughs> now we're going, to, we're going to come over here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add us a custom little piece of code, all right? Now I'm not gonna get in depth on HTML programming and how easy it is and how to do it. I'm not gonna talk about that at all. I'm gonna let you guys uh, either learn that on your own or buy my course. Just kidding, you can learn it on your own, I don't have a course. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. We're just gonna go in and put some little HTML code and we're gonna put in you know, an H1 tag here and we're gonna end that H1 tag, this is a heading tag, and we're gonna put in some things and we're gonna say something like, hey, and then we're gonna put in a span tag, uh, ID equals name, um, and we're just gonna do that, say hey, hey name, All right, so that's enough for me. So I've just put in, I've just put in a little HTML snippet of code here, and all it's doing is it's saying hey, and then what I've done is I've put in a little box because that little box is going to hold the dynamic information that we're going to inject from Magic Zap. All right, so this is very very basic HTML stuff. You can Google this. A really good resource for this. Uh, is W3 Tools, all right? So if you wanna learn basic HTML stuff, this is a great place to actually learn this. Um, W3 Schools, you can learn basic HTML, you can learn advanced HTML, you can learn CSS, you can learn JavaScript, you can learn all that, all right? Um, it's, it's super, super easy. It's, uh, it's so easy a monkey can do it, all right? So, all right, so we're gonna, we're gonna save that up right there. There we go. Just got saved up. Look at there. Great. Got saved. <coughs> All right. So now what we're going to do is if you look here, you'll notice that we created a span tag and its ID is name. So I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to come back over to Magic Zap. I'm going to edit my little zap here. I'm going to come to the section that says add element attribute. All right. I'm gonna create a new attribute called name, and I'm gonna say that this thing is identified by an ID, all right? So this thing is identified by an ID, and that's all I really need to do. All right, so now I can look and see, I've edited it, I've added essentially an, an element attribute called name that's identified by an ID, and that thing actually matches this span thing right here that has an ID that is called name. All right, great, so that's done. That part is done. So now all we have to do is preview out this page. You can see my little thing here. It says, hey, I made this landing page just for you. Remember I said this is not gonna be HTML class. This is just going to be about what you need to do with Magic Zap. The HTML class will come tomorrow. Don't worry about it, it's happening tomorrow. All right, so now what I can actually do here is, I'm not gonna worry about this one. I'm just gonna grab this guy right here. All right, there we go. So now I can just essentially pass in a URL parameter. Now, I know you may not understand what URL parameters are, but don't worry, in the very next little video, I'm gonna tell you what URL parameters are. I should have done it before this, but I forgot. All right, so I'm just gonna put in a name equals John. So as you can see, I put in a name equals John. 
And as you can see, what's happening in my landing page? Well, nothing's happening in my landing page. So if you see nothing's happening in your landing page, the first thing you probably want to do is you probably want to come back over here and you see this section that says append HTML, you just turn it on. All right, that's it. Just turn it on, just like my wife does me. Just turn it on. And now you can see that it's actually showing here. So now you can see that it's showing, hey, John, I made this landing page just for you. And I can go in and say, hey, on Pizza. Actually, I'm going to go in and say, hey. Spencer. I'm going to say, hey, Spencer. Hey, Spencer. I'm going to say, hey, sexy ass on Pizza. I made this landing page just for you. All right. So now you can see how easy that was, right? You can see how easy it was for us to actually create this dynamic landing page and now actually reference information that we have from our lead and inject that into our landing page so that we can uh, psychologically make them think that we're speaking specifically to them and it's going to actually uh, cause some more engagement from their side, all right? And that's how simple it is to you know, put in this information. So I'm gonna give you one more example real quick. We're gonna go edit this page. We're gonna edit this page and uh, I'm just gonna edit this up and I'm just gonna say something else like H2, how, how do you like your job at an ID equals company or company all right so now I just added another little section there <laughs> so now I have me another little section a nice other little section all right just to show you how you can do um, more stuff and if it doesn't save automatically then just come in save this again save it a couple times Sometimes it takes a couple minutes for ClickFunnels to go in and get that data and add it. All right, so you can see now I've got two little lines here. All right, so now we're just going to come back in and edit this magic app again. And we're going to add another thing, and it's going to be called company. And it's also going to be identified by an ID. And then I'm just going to come back over here and I'm going to put in an and sign. And you can see now it's actually changing that data where it says, hey, sexy ass on Kita. This is our dynamic data right here. And this is our dynamic data right there. So now hopefully you can understand exactly how you can go in and create dynamic landing pages and actually take any data that you get up here and these URL parameters and you can pass that right to your landing page and you can create dynamic landing pages.